Hey guys, how's it going? Kapirin here. So the uh, one week race has started and uh, I've made my character and I got to like level 52 last night and uh, I'm playing under the rule set that I set, just kind of like the man mode thing where uh, you have to play a melee character with only stuff that you find. You're not allowed to trade, you're not allowed to group, and you can only use a certain few melee abilities. Uh, they are basically most of the melee abilities, uh, aside from some that uh, interact maybe a little bit differently. Uh, than melee, like dominating blow can make you into a summoner and so on. But in any case, I'm sure some of you guys have participated in this and uh, there is some kind of uh, ladder set in place because uh, I said if you want to be a part of the challenge, if you want to let people know, put the letter SMASH in capitals in your name and because enough people did this, uh, someone was clever, clever enough to export the data from the ladder into his own smash only ladder and I'll give you guys a link to that in the description, you guys can check that out, it's pretty hilarious. You know, obviously, I'm sure some people are not going to take part, but um, put their name anyway. But anyway, for, for amusement, it's fun to check out such a thing. But the more important thing is uh, I've kind of kept my build a little bit on the down low. Uh, just, uh, you know, so I give people their own chance to make their own build so I wouldn't have any influence on it. And uh, I think today is a pretty appropriate day to kind of show you guys what I came up with, how I kind of tackled this rule set so you guys can uh, maybe learn a few things. So uh, this is my character here, I ended up making a Marauder. I made a Templar first, uh, and then about like 40 minutes later I made this character. I did a Templar so I can get a, a Weapon Elemental Gem. Um, you know, the, the Marauder does get the Weapon Elemental Gem, but um, unless I get lucky and get a drop, uh, I wasn't going to get uh, all of the gems that I wanted. I was missing, I mean, if I got two Weapon Elementals, then I'd be missing an Added Fire. If I got two Added Fire, then I'd be missing a Reduced Mana. And if I got in something instead of Reduced Mana, uh, you know, I might be screwed. So I have to get one of like five gems to drop. And I thought, you know, it's a weak race. I'll just spend an hour to get a, a weapon elemental from a Templar then make my normal character. So that's what I did. And the character is a two-handed base character. Uh, right now I am using mana. Uh, I can uh, go to blood magic if I want. I am literally one point from blood magic. But just because you're one point from blood magic doesn't mean you have to get it. You know, because I'm not blood magic, I can take advantage of the fact that I'm able to use percentage auras, like hatred. In the future, I also plan to use determination if I stick with the non-blood magic route. Uh, right now, I made kind of like a typical Marauder where I go up to Templar and get all the goodies there. And then I go to Iron Reflexes and get all the goodies there. Now, this basis of the build uh, has kind of been done before. And I want to show you guys a few things that I plan to do uh, in the future. So, uh, right here, I really want the Blood Drinker. And I have to get to Unwavering Stance anyway. So these three points here, I can replace those with these three points here. And if I do that, I can get here with, you know, pretty efficient notes. So I can get 12, which is 12 in one note is good. And then 8 is, you know, on par. And then I get 6, 6, which enables me to get 18. So that's 30. So these are 10, 10 piece. And 4 attack speed is pretty low, but considering I can get that. And I get easier access to Lava Lash. And you'll see why this is important. Um, you know, I think that's worth it. But in the immediate sense, when I'm leveling, you know, I want to get to Iron Reflex as fast as possible. You know, that's why they have respect points in the game. That's why I did the respect quest as I was leveling. From this point, I plan to go up here, get the Might node, get the Life nodes, go over here, get the Dexterity, then more Life nodes, and then go over here, come up, Life node, Life node, Attack Speed, Dex. I really like this node personally because the 4 attack speed essentially pays for one node, so this node which you use to connect to it is essentially 40 dex, and if there was a 40 dex node, I'd probably get it just for the evasion boost because I'm using Iron Reflex, that's, you know, 8% evasion, that's not too bad. Um, in addition to that, uh, because I get this point, I can get the two-handed melee damage there, so Wrecking Ball, I'm planning on getting that. And uh, as I said, you can get in the Marauder, I can also get the Templar, Two-handed, 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 all the good stuff, the melee. Um, and up here, this is also another good efficiency that I can get. It's 10 int and 10 int, which is generally pretty bad, but because my int is so low, uh, in my case, it is fairly needed. I'm actually planning on getting Savant pretty soon, just so I can meet the int requirements for, for the orders that I'm using or plan to use. So these two points are essentially one point because I need a little bit of a boost of int, so I have one point. And then this fitness node is 20 strength and 2% life over a normal 8% life node. And this is pretty much one node. So fitness is kind of like a two-point point. So I get two points there, 
I get one point there, and I get one point there. So this this is a very effective you know route to take in terms of just raw stats. So that's kind of how I look at things in this talent tree. Kind of find like the equivalency uh, values, and um, you know I just move through. I kind of keep it flexible. You know if I find uh, a very very good elemental weapon, I can get the elemental nodes there. And I try to make something work of it. You know if I get like a five link, I may choose to use faster attacks with uh, life leech in which case I'll probably get blood magic because I'll not be able to pay for the ability. If I get like a chain, I might use a lightning strike with chain, and in which case I'll have to use blood magic as well. And I'm right there, it's just a few flexibility points away. But for now, uh, I'm planning on using leap slam. I have a uh, heavy strike with leap slam with added fire physical because I don't have any other you know proper use where I can link stuff. Um, and it, it's kind of working out. Uh, essentially my last link will be the weapon elemental on a leaf slam so I use leaf slam, fire, melee physical and weapon elemental uh, generally leaf slam scales really well off attack speed but the thing to keep in mind is that uh, if you're scaling attack speed, attack speed, attack speed you're still going to kill stuff in like one or two hits so you know you make your leaf slam faster mine's already fairly fast it's not too bad and if I use faster attack speed way faster but my goal is to uh, one shot a pack of mobs using Leap Slam. Obviously there are some vulnerabilities with Reflect, but I have other things to counter that. So right now I am using Heavy Strike, so they share the vulnerability that Leap Slam and Heavy Strike are both heavily physical. But in the end I plan to use, uh, where is it here, Infernal Blow. I ended up finding a quality Infernal Blow in Normal, which is pretty lucky because I did plan to use this as my single target attack. Infernal Blow, because I use Weapon Elemental Damage, uh, scales much better than Heavy Strike and actually surpasses Heavy Strike uh, in the later stages of the game. But for the time being, I'm using Heavy Strike because I cannot link it with Weapon Elemental. I don't have the mana base to uh, support it right now, and uh, that's largely because I don't have any mana leech. But, you know, in a simple sense, uh, for now, I'm just going to be doing some Ledge and Merciless. I got to level 52, as I mentioned, and uh, it's been going pretty well. I kind of want to show you guys the build uh, just to get some ideas. I'm not using Grace because I want the mana, but as you can see, you know, the clear speed is pretty good, it's pretty safe. I'm using Warlord's Mark, and I'm, uh, the reason I'm doing that is because I need the Mana Leech. I um, need Mana Leech on gear, and that's really um, uh, the short point on the gear. But the reason I'm using these abilities, the reason I'm using Leaf Slam, the reason I'm using uh, Heavy Strike and Infernal Blow is that none of these actually require anything uh, in terms of weapon choice. So let's say this, this Highborn Staff happened to come up with like, you know, 500 damage. Then, uh, you know, I, I'm two points away from reaching that ink requirement and I could just put that on and use all of the attacks that I'm already using. So that, that was kind of my concept behind this. Uh, just be very, very flexible in terms of gear. And um, in the end, when, uh, when I have like maybe one, one kind of weapon that I you know, don't think I'll replace at all, uh, I'll just you know, use that and maybe get a few passives to uh, accommodate the weapon. So even though I don't have uh, much defense, uh, I'm kind of, you know, handling this stuff all right. This is a fairly difficult pack, and uh, I'm able to kill it pretty, uh, pretty safe. You know, I don't have much leech. I don't have that great gear at this point. Uh, at this point in the game, the weakness really is the gear. And once I get better, uh, I can progress, move on, and change my spec in accordance with the gear that I find. So, hope you guys uh, learned a few things in regards to how I kind of plan out these uh, these ideas. A lot of people are doing a lot of different things in the race, but uh, I thought this would be kind of cool doing leap slam action uh, rather than just like, you know, too much elemental stuff. This is kind of like a balance, it's kind of like a true sense of melee, and uh, I thought it would be pretty cool. So, hopefully, you guys think the same, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.